New tonight, a South Bay pickup soccer group is raising concerns over having to pay to play at a public park. The city of Chula Vista says they have to follow the same rules as official leagues, but the group is pushing back, hoping to reach a compromise. Our Kasha Gregorczyk is in Chula Vista with that story. The basketball court here at Lauterbach Park in Chula Vista has the lights on almost all the time, but if they turn off, you can press this button right here to get them turned right back on. But just a few feet away over on the soccer fields, this pickup soccer group says they have to pay about $100 every time they want to play and have those field lights on. It's a public park. It's for the public. If nobody here is profiting, why should the city profit off us? Henry Sanchez has been running Chula Vista pickup soccer for the last three years. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's free and open for anyone to show up and play until recently when he was notified by the city of Chula Vista he needs a permit and has to pay for the lights to come on. It's $103.82, I think, per day, per Tuesday that we play to have the field and lights. Sanchez is pushing back on the city's municipal code, which requires the payment of any group who falls under a list of designations, such as regularly scheduled 25 or more participants or simply wearing a vest or uniform. I researched the municipal code, and that's when I figured, okay, that this is pretty much made for clubs or coaches who ran out the field because obviously they're making money out of it so they have no problem paying the permit fee. The city told Fox 5 in a statement the group is required to pay the same fees as similar groups and fees are for the exclusive use of the fields to help recover the cost of maintaining and lighting the facilities, adding the city's limited lit fields are in high demand. Lauterbach Park, where the team plays on Tuesday evenings, had just reopened in July after extensive renovations. Measure P was passed at Ch in Chula Vista to raise the tax uh, a penny and a half for parks. That's how they got money to, to remodel this park, and now we can't use it unless you pay for it. Sanchez and those who come out to play each week now split the cost to cover the permits and the lighting, but hope the city will strike a compromise. This community is almost like part of my family because I like playing soccer and I've been trying to look for clubs but they're expensive and then this is the only place where I can hang out with friends and stuff just like a community. Sanchez tells us he has been in touch with Chula Vista Mayor John McCann and the city tells us it is working with this group to reach a resolution within city policies. Reporting from Chula Vista, Kasia Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News.